The first storm of December wasn't a record breaker, but it certainly packed an icy punch. Several accidents snagged the evening commute. Inside black ice made for a big mess as well. Spin outs and fender benders reported on almost all of the highways. WBZ's Jim Armstrong has been out all evening on the roads. Jim, what have you been seeing? A lot of accidents and spin outs, exactly as you're describing, Lauren, forcing a lot of drivers to go a little bit slower than normal, which tonight was definitely called for. Salting, sanding, de icing, plowing, all of it going on until late tonight in an effort to keep the roads as passable as possible. With temps in the low 20s, though, any water that ends up on the highways freezes in a hurry. Tuesday's evening commute was ugly from the start. A six-car accident near Route 2 and 128 in Lexington slowed things down there considerably and set the tone for the night. I can tell it's just a minutes away from it just being a complete ice lick out there. This is just one of a pair of near simultaneous multi-car accidents in Burlington. One on 95 North, the other just a couple of miles away on 95 South. We haven't slipped once, but it looks like it's going to be sliding. But I, I, it doesn't look that we're not sliding, but we're going to go extra slow. I am. Oh, yeah, definitely. State police telling WBZ that black ice was a problem from Lexington to Burlington and beyond. As soon as the sun set and temperatures fell, driving became much tougher. Police in Auburn tweeted out this picture of another ice-related accident. This one shut down Oxford Street there for a time. But even before the fast freeze, spinouts and accidents were everywhere. Sleet and freezing rain that had piled on top of the snow demanded a crash course on winter driving. They're a little slippery, but not that bad if you take your time. If you're an experienced driver, you shouldn't have any problems. Closer to Boston, we found patience. Good news, especially this early in the season. My roommate called me when she got home, and she said it's super icy up on Winter Hill, so I expect that it'll be a little bit cooler, a little bit colder, a little slicker once I get off the main the main path. The but... worst is ahead of you still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't mind it. It was kind of nice for a change today. Back live here along 128, the one bright spot in a lot of dark spots driving around the state. I should say the whole viewing area tonight. A lot of big accidents, but only minor injuries reported. No fatalities and really no reports, even at this late hour, of any serious injuries as a result of all those accidents. Live in Lexington, Jim Armstrong, WBZ News.